Pfizer-BioNTech announced this morning that it has submitted for emergency use authorization from the FDA based on phase three data, which shows the vaccine is 95% effective with no serious safety concerns. Here in the UK, the first step of authorizing a vaccine is for the government formally to ask the independent regulator the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, or MHRA as it's known, to assess its suitability. The MHRA, which acts for the entire UK, is one of the world's most respected regulators. And I can confirm that the government has formally asked the MHRA to assess the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. If a vaccine is approved, it will of course be available across the UK from our NHS, free at the point of delivery, according to need, not ability to pay. And the NHS is in the process of establishing vaccination centres across the country that can manage the logistical challenge of needing to store the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine at minus 70 degrees. In addition, it is establishing vaccination hubs in hospitals for NHS staff, these two routes are likely to comprise the bulk of the campaign this side of the new year. Then there will be a community rollout involving GPs and pharmacists. What I can say about timing is that if, and it still is an if, if the regulator approves a vaccine, we will be, start, we will be ready to start the vaccination next month with the bulk of the rollout in the new year.